So now in the last video, we looked at how these uh, LEDs, which are independently wired to the breadboard, they're parallel with each other. Each one of them is an LED with the protective resistor being powered by the power supply. We need approximately three volts or more to get the blue LED to light up and approximately two volts or more to get the red LED to light up. And we have that right there, five volts. Now, I set the power supply to a maximum current of uh, 0.5 amps, 500 milliamps, because I'm also charging these super capacitors. So I don't really recommend you buy these unless they look like something you wanna buy. But uh, if you're trying to learn electronics on a budget, uh, skip these. There's more cheaper ways to uh, store energy. But in any case, you can charge them up to 5.5 volts, which is high for a, a super capacitor. A lot of them are only 2.7 volts. And uh, they're four farad, both of them. They gotta be equal capacitance for what we're gonna do in this video. Charging them the way we are right now is fine if they are other uh, capacitances from each other, but we're gonna put them in series. So it's very important that they are both equally charged and they have the same capacitance. So you can see down here, we got that positive and then a gap to this jumper and then a gap to that jumper that goes to negative right there. That's how we're gonna power them in series. So last video, we looked at we need at least six volts to get uh, just a slight glow. We only got one of them to glow at six volts. At seven volts, they all glowed a fair amount, but still not brightly. Eight volts, they got quite a bit brighter. Nine volts, quite a bit brighter, and so on. We could have got up to 12 volts. So we have the uh, two capacitors here, and uh, they're gonna be about five volts. They may still be charging a little bit, so not quite, but uh, they're gonna be uh, pretty close. If I remove that alligator clip, Already we cut power. You can see those no current. The LEDs are still lit because the super capacitors are powering it. And now that I removed the two of them, they are not. So I'm gonna start putting them in series right here and uh, make sure I'm not missing. So this is why I had to kind of stagger it like that. So they're not overlapping and uh, cutting off the light. A little hard to see if I'm getting in the right spot. There we go. So you can see that uh, on the right there, those LEDs are lit up right now. We can look at uh, the actual voltage we got. We could have pulled out the LEDs and measured this first and uh, we would have had more voltage. There we go, got the multimeter set to measure voltage and uh, put the black probe anywhere. That's the uh, negative side of the power supply. And uh, I'll go to uh, these jumpers because uh, they make pretty good contact. They're easy to touch the edge there. And you can see we got about 8.2 uh, volts. So if we had them both charged to five volts, uh, when we put them in series, if they're not powering a load, they would have 10 volts. And uh, that would go down over time because they naturally leak, you know, so some more than others or whatnot. But in any case, we, we probably had about 10 volts to start off with, and uh, it's going down over time though. So, that's one way you can increase uh, the voltage and there's uh, voltage doubler circuits out there. You do uh, lose, you have to go through diodes. So you lose a little bit of voltage in the process, but you get close to double the voltage with uh, regular capacitors. You need a way to uh, alternate high and low to them. So you could use like a 555 timer or something. I'll probably do that in a video coming up. But in any case, you can just charge uh, super capacitors these have internal resistance. You don't have to worry about putting them directly to a power supply. Other supercapacitors, you need to uh, make sure that uh, you use uh, some resistance or other current limiting because they'll take whatever current you can provide them. And uh, so these are polarized. That side's the negative side. That side's the positive side. So I got positive up higher over there. And then so the negative side of this one is coming to the positive side of that one. They have to be in that direction and they have to be equal value. They have to be perfectly equal value when you put them in series because they got the same amount of current flowing through them. And uh, so that means that if one has a lower capacitance, it's gonna discharge faster and then start reversing charging. One's gonna reverse charge the other one if one has a higher capacitance. They have to be equal capacitance right there. And you can see uh, we're getting dimmer there. We're probably getting close to six volts. But uh, in any case, as I said, there's better energy uh, storage ways to do this unless you absolutely want these, of course. If it looks fun, uh, buy it. 
but otherwise if you're looking to save money this is mostly just a uh, demonstration video to help people get a little bit more familiar with voltage that's something that kind of confuses people at first but in any case thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video